provide a brief discussion on what structured programming is. Structured programming is often regarded as go to less programming. This structured programming gives simplicity, easy to understand and easy for the verification of the coding related activities. In structured programming, a statement is not a simple assignment statement. It is a structured statement. A key property of a structured statement is that it has a single entry and single exit. That is, during execution, the execution of the structured statement starts from one defined point and execution terminates at one defined point. With single entry and single exit statement, we can view the program as a sequence of structured statements. Structured programming is concerned with the structures used in computer program. Generally, structures of the computer program consist of decision statements, sequence statements and loop statements. Decision statement means conditional execution statements like if statement. The sequence structures examples are sequentially executed ordinary statements. Loop structures are the iterative task performing statements like for loop, while loop, etc. Structured programming makes these three types of structures to get to implement different kinds of algorithms. The purpose of structured programming is to code the program in easy way, to modify the program in easy way. Information hiding. It focuses on hiding the essential details of functions and code in a program. A software solution to a problem always contains data structures that are meant to represent information in the problem domain. Only certain operations are performed on the certain informations. The information captured in the data structures should be hidden from the rest of the system and only the access functions on data structures that represent operations performed in the information should be visible. Information hiding is implemented with the help of interfaces. Interface is a medium of interaction for software components that are using the properties of software modules containing data. Complexities arise when one program or module in software is dependent on several other programs and modules. The objective of information hiding is to minimize these complexities among these different modules of the software. Information hiding makes the system more maintainable. As the rest of the system in the problem domain only performs these defined operations on the information, the rest of the modules in the software should only use these access functions to access and manipulate data structures. Information hiding can reduce the coupling between modules and make the system more maintainable. Information hiding is also an effective tool for managing the complexity of developing software. We achieve this task with the features like data abstraction so that the data is entirely in the control of the modules.
it is the responsibility of the coders the programmers to make this access restrictions in the program in the earlier days older programming languages like pascal c fortran do not provide these mechanisms to support data abstraction but now most of the programming languages provide these access restrictions through the programmers and thus we can provide this information hiding more effectively in the software development activities top down programming starts at the top and works its way down a top down approach also known as step wise design is essentially the breaking down of a system to gain insight into the subsystem that make it up in a top down approach an overview of the system is formulated specify but not detailing any first level subsystem so as you start at the most abstract level by defining the problem and from there add more details it is a bit like starting with an outline and then filling things in as you go until you have a story so let us say that you want to create a program with general title but you don't know where to start well when you are working with top down systems if you define the sub problems as sub and sub modules and thus can now move to the next level down that is from abstract to program concept is top down approach none of these sub module operations will tell the computer what to do yet but that is okay what matters is that you know what to do what the computer has to do will come on later stage this is divide and conquer arrangements this kind of setup allows you to easily break up a project that seems so large to manage into manageable pieces which have clearly defined paths top down approach has not become very popular because one of the bigger problems is that this requires a very hierarchical way of structuring your code information flows top down and bottoms up throughout the hierarchy without a real guide as to how that information should be organized this is where object oriented programming has the advantage disadvantages of top down programming approach can be mentioned as below till the last stage nothing is in the executable stage for top down programming so the testing can be done only at the very late stage of development then in top down approach the modules may not be very reusable because it is very specific to the application that is being written then third point is that there is a probability to have modifications in the system and whenever such specification change comes over time there is a great risk that large part of the application need to be rewritten then fourth risk is the implementation of the data structure as modules are dependent on each other and they have to share one or more functions and procedures this will lead to 
unwanted dependency among the module bottom up programming bottom up programming is the opposite of top down programming it refers to a style of programming where an application is constructed starting with existing primitives of the programming language and constructing gradually more and more complicated features until the all of the application has been written bottom up programming has several advantages over top down programming one testing is simplified since no steps are needed that is there is no extra piece of code is used to stand in for some other programming functionality second advantage bottom up approach is pieces of programs written bottom up tend to be more general and thus more reusable than pieces of programs written in top down the disadvantage of bottom up programming can be said as it is possible to delay decisions concerning the exact functionality of applications